What is reoperative parathyroid surgery? Um, well, technically, uh, this uh, pertains or refers to any parathyroid operation that's performed when a, uh, an operation has already been performed in that same area of the neck. There's really three uh, common uh, situations where we find ourselves uh, doing reoperative parathyroid surgery. Um, one common surgery that leads to this is what's called an anterior cervical fusion. Um, this is an operation to correct disc disease, etc., of the cervical spine. And there's two ways to approach these repairs. One is from the back of the neck, and there, there are, you can also approach from the front. Um, this is probably the least uh, affecting to our parathyroid operation. Uh, they're not really operating in the same anatomic compartment that we are although there often is a little bit of scarring uh, from the adjacent area when they do these operations. Um, so it can affect us a little bit. It, uh, scar tissue during uh, surgery can uh, make delineating the anatomy a little bit more difficult. But for most cases of anterior cervical fusions, the effect on us is pretty minimal. Uh, the next uh, most common uh, reason that we have to perform a reoperative parathyroid surgery is uh, if the patient has had a previous thyroid operation, um, either uh, removal of a portion or the entire thyroid gland. Um, this makes things more challenging uh, for a couple reasons. One, anytime you reoperate in the same uh, space in the body, uh, the body creates or uh, generates scar tissue. Um, the tissue planes are different. Surgeons, when they do operations, we have become accustomed to... Uh, you can just start with surgeons when they do operations. When surgeons do operations, we have become trained and accustomed to recognizing how the tissues are going to look, how they're going to feel, and how they're going to move in relation to each other. Um, in a reoperative uh, uh, surgical field, all of that changes. The tissues look different, they feel different, they move differently in relation to each other. And when the thyroid is removed, it, specifically with respect to parathyroid anatomy, those anatomic relationships get very, can, can get very distorted, and so that makes things more difficult for us in terms of delineating and identifying the parathyroid anatomy. Uh, the third most common is a failed parathyroid operation. So a patient has undergone a uh, an attempt at parathyroidectomy um, at uh, usually another uh, hospital or institution in the country, and they end up um, getting referred to us for evaluation. Uh, for similar reasons that uh, surgery after thyroidectomy is difficult, the same is, uh, is the case for reoperative parathyroid surgery after a previous parathyroid operation.